mudslides and a lot of forest fires, right? So any one of those would, would, would uh, be, be good. Actually, even if we just did the Santa Ana winds, I mean, they based an entire movie on that, uh, right? Uh, uh, there, no, there was an entire book on, on how the Santa Ana winds affect people. Fantastic, right? Any one of those sorts of things can, can work. Now, if you're not from Los Angeles, maybe you have tornadoes or hurricanes. And just think back to your, to your childhood at some point and when you interact with that, with that thing. I can think back to the Whittier quake and how, how it affected me to, to, to live through that. The, the Whittier quake, quake uh, was a fairly big one, and it, lasted, it, seemed, it seemed like it lasted for a long time. And uh, me getting underneath the, the table and trying to get my dogs to come, come with me, and they just like uh, kind of looked at me and wondered what I was uh, upset about as things fell around them, right? That'd be a great, great little poem. Maybe I'll write that poem. Okay, so anyway, uh, it's going to be Mother Nature Sneezes, and I'd like you to try to use cacophony. Cacophony is just using uh, a couple of words here and there that that aren't nice, right? They have that, that sort of grating sound on your ear. If you can, try to do that. It's going to affect your readers unconsciously, and suddenly they're going to feel that same fear that you feel, right? Um, uh, so, okay. Um, today I'm, I'm, I'm going to read from Gary Young's book, uh, who Scott Creeley introduced me to. Gary Young's book is the, is the book that is the gift that keeps giving, right? It's fantastic. And I often get some, some poem ideas from, from this. Okay, this is his poem about earthquake. All the bars came down in the quake. The bookstore and the portico where I often stood to get out of the rain are gone to now too. This town is aging faster than I am. I think the face of a clock is loveliest at 10 past 10 when the hands are balanced and time is suspended. Or it may be 6.30 when the small hand has at last begun to rise. And he's, he's talking about how, how, how nature has affected, affected his little town. How did nature affect your life? Okay. Um, if you want to send this out to a magazine, Split Rock Review is a great online magazine. Check them out. Um, uh, I'm going to try to get in there at some, some point. They're, they're, they're fantastic, and they do all sorts of different things. Um, uh, and they also look specifically for nature and poetry. They're, they're a big environmental uh, journal. Okay. All right. I will see you tomorrow.